Glory to God, friends and family. Let's get right into this. So this is regarding what is called the Christian ASMR community. ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, and it's it elicits in the listener a type of paresthesia, which is like a feeling of tingliness. So this practice has been around for a while, and it seems that um, it seems that some Christians are using this have made channels and are using it in order to minister the word of God to one another. Now, I would not speak on this if I was not led to. I'd never heard of this as a community or as a thing in general. I've heard of ASMR. I've not heard of Christian ASMR, but about a week ago, I opened up my YouTube and there was a video. And I was led to click it and I did. And immediately, no joke, I was filled with this sensation as if I was watching like, like a graphic sex scene in a movie. It was really uncomfortable and I didn't get through more of like 15 seconds because immediately through discernment, I knew that something was really not okay. I'm just going to start off by saying because you know we have an audience here that is lacking in all the things that they're lacking in i'm talking about the audience of this asmr christian community and all the things that they're lacking in can be found in jesus christ some watch these videos to help them sleep to reduce anxiety and depression um, to give them feelings of comfort or pleasure calm the problem is we need to be finding this in the Lord alone. And when we have to add these things to the word of God, there's something seriously wrong. And, you know, it's not the same as just like reading your Bible with some music on. These practices intentionally trigger and elicit like a feelings of peace. Scientists, um, Come, how do you say, um, liken it to oxytocin releases. Like it's an actual thing happening in the physical body, in God's temple that is intentionally being triggered. And it's very unnatural. It's very, because of its intentionality, you know, ASMR is experienced, we experience this even naturally sometimes. You know, um, I recall being a child, I recall being a child in, in like second or third grade and a teacher, you know, whispering something in my ear and just getting tingles. It's a natural feeling sometimes. Um, and it's a good feeling. However, to there's something very wrong with mixing the word of God with this feeling. It doesn't glorify God. This doesn't glorify God. You know, people might say, oh, well, I'm reading the Bible. People are hearing the Bible. So that has to be good no matter how it comes to pass. But, you know, even Satan knows the word of God. And there's plenty of people in other communities that, you know, pervert the word of God or that use the word of God to be self-serving in other ways. This is no different from that. You know, ASMR is what's comforting the people, not the word. Because again, if you can't just read the word you know, by yourself and find peace and comfort in the Lord and the word, which is God, that's the bread of life, man. Like, let's not pervert that. Then there's something wrong. You need to seek the Lord, not heap unto yourself false teachers and preachers. You know, you'll never, ever, ever in the Bible find somewhere that says, whisper the word of God to one another or click your nails to make, you know what I mean? It's just, there's a righteous anger. Admittedly, I when I I was made very uncomfortable by this and I was led to speak on it immediately But I did want to do some just looking into the actual practice um, So I just want to share some scriptures First Corinthians 10 31 says so whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do Do it all for the glory of God and I think we can admit or agree upon the fact that this is not for the glory of God. This is for the glory of self, for the comfort of comfort of self. You know, my rule of thumb is if you wouldn't say it, 
if you wouldn't wear it, if you wouldn't act like it in front of Jesus Christ, don't say it or wear it or act like it here on earth. Because he's the living God. Like, he sees these things. I just, I think people forget that. You know, I think people forget that he's with us. You know, when a lot of people, um, you know, there's just a lot of things that we as believers are doing. And it's like, you would never say that in front of Jesus. If it was face to face, you would never sit there and click your nails in his face, reading his word, the word who is God, who is Jesus. Like, like watch how you're handling the word is my thing. Like, that's, where's the fear of God in this practice? Because there's something really, really wrong here in this so-called community. And I think repentance, in fact, I know repentance is needed and renunciation, renouncement, renunciation of these practices and that these channels should absolutely, undoubtedly be shut down. Absolutely. You know, if you're gonna have an ASMR channel, personal choice, but don't put your father who is the word and these lips that are speaking seductively to his people, intentionally triggering his people to feel a physical response. Is this thing on? So 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 6 says, I charge you therefore before God and Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. So, you know, we already know that Satan has infiltrated the body in a way that he, through people, you know, people sugarcoat the word. So people might say, well, these ASMR people, they call themselves ASM artists, are they're saying the true word of God, so it has to be right. But you know, even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Like I think we needn't be deceived here. Do not treat the word of God this way, please. <laughs> like for the fear of God alone, I really encourage you to, to find help sleeping and comfort and all those good feelings. Holy Spirit can elicit in you himself. Holy Spirit doesn't need to be triggered in this manufactured way. You know, I have some pieces from religionnews.com from an article that was written in 2021 specifically about uh, the Christian ASMR community. So Religion News in a 2021 article, uh, a 2018 brain scan study found that ASMR can trigger regions of the brain that are associated with reward and emotional arousal. You know, let's just get it out there that lust is not just sexual lust is about the lust of the flesh and it's about it's something that we're called to you know self-denial for a reason carrying our cross for a reason because this walk is not all about feeling good so that's how you know holy spirit lets me know that the audience here you know he's he he's grieved by the people giving these videos and that the audience, the people are not seeking him for all this peace that surpasses all understanding. You know, he is the answer. Holy Spirit is the helper, the comforter. And he, you know, he wants to comfort you even greater, better than this practice can ever comfort you. He wants to comfort you even more. His love for you. He wants to just fill you with his love, which feels better than any of these practices. But we need to really renounce these things first because they're becoming addictive you know just like people in other communities constantly seeking videos to make them feel good to hear what they want to hear heaping teachers upon themselves to soothe their itching ears that's what scripture says and they're doing this because of a great lack within them you know and it grieves holy spirit it really grieves him these whatever these channels are not spirit led not at all. You know, Holy Spirit dealt with me before I was ever called into ministry about how to speak to his people because the people of God, you're not just anyone. I'm speaking to chosen called people. Like I don't get to talk to you however I want because you're God's people. So I speak to you spirit led. Likewise, the Holy Spirit taught me how to speak to people with love and power and of a sound mind. Holy Spirit. Okay. 
Holy Spirit never told these people to get on to YouTube and to whisper the word of God. Holy Spirit never, we're going to test the spirit right now. Let's, I think we can agree here. Holy Spirit never told these people to get on and to click their nails and to make soft, soothing noises to lure people in to hear the perverted word of God ever. Therefore, these people should not be doing what they're doing, period. They're walking after the flesh and they are leading everyone who is listening to walk after their flesh. Anyone can read the Bible, okay? That doesn't mean that there's not an unclean spirit at work here. The very nature of these videos testifies to the fact that there is something very wrong with the ASMR Christian community. The article continues to say, it is likely that these positive moments of personal attention stimulate the release of oxytocin, also known as the love hormone, to induce the calming and relaxing feeling of ASMR. Sensations that come from ASMR can be categorized into physical and psychological experiences. Physical sensations can be light and pleasurable brain tingles, fuzziness, and waves of relaxation that begin in the head and travel throughout the body. It can also bring out deep, soothing feelings of calm, relaxation, peacefulness, and sleepiness. The ASMR host triggers these feelings using light, mouth sounds, eating, scratching, and even storytelling. There is even actual Christian ASMR stations who are doing role-playing. And it's women who claim to be Christians who are pretending to be Christian nurses taking care of wounded soldiers. I kid you not, you know, it's, and even, I'm going to be honest though, that's not the worst of it. Like, because I feel like some people would want to say, oh, well, that's definitely not wrong. But ASMR in general, innocent. Test the spirit. I really encourage us to test the spirit on this one because, um, you know, my discernment, I know is on point and I don't want to lead any of you to witness one of these videos, but immediately I was, I didn't have to watch it for a few minutes and think about it. I was immediately like, Holy Spirit was immediately grieved within me. As soon as the video started, it was very uncomfortable. There was, there's a, you know, when you're ministering the word of God, when you're just reading the word of God or giving a Bible study of something, there is, you know, Holy Spirit in his presence, there's a transparency, there's an innocence, you know, there's, there's the righteousness of Christ present. That was nowhere. That was nowhere. As I listened for the 15 seconds or less, I was able to listen to this video. So second Timothy three, two through nine for men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money. Boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, and from such people turn away. This audience is in danger of becoming exactly these people, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. If you truly love God then all you need is him and his word because in him is all the comfort that you need. And if you say, well, I'm seeking him, I'm still having anxiety, depression. Listen, there are people out here, true believers that can help you with that. Okay. Because Holy Spirit is the helper. He's the comforter. And there are Holy Spirit led people who turn these channels off. They are not Holy Spirit led. And this is demonic. I believe it's absolutely demonic. Okay. How can we call this holiness? The Lord says, be ye holy for I am holy. Please, let's be honest with ourselves. Do we really think that there's any holiness in this? Verse six says, for this sort are those who creep into households and make captives of gullible women loaded down with sins, led away by various lusts, always learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. Now that can go both ways because again, it's a lot of women that are doing these videos. For this sort, this is the sort who creep into households. It's That's very much how these channels do. You know, I just opened YouTube and here it was creeping into my household and make captives of gullible men or women loaded down with sins, led away by various lusts, always learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. Because, you know, there's going to be no real revelation here. Holy Spirit is not present on these channels. Not the way that I've never, I'm, I'm so honest. 
I'm so serious about this. I meant to say, I have never felt the reaction that I felt in my spirit when I turned this video on, when I started watching it. It took under 15 seconds for me to turn it off and then I was convicted to speak on it. Verse eight says, now as John's and Jambres resisted Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds, men and women of corrupt minds disapproved concerning the faith, but they will progress no further for their folly will be manifest to all as theirs also was. Friends and family, this is not the time to be led away by such things, to be led by your flesh that we're called to put to death, okay? I promise you, the Lord has his truly Holy Spirit filled people that are here that will help you, that will lead you. You know, they can testify how the Lord, myself included, has delivered us from depression, anxiety, helped us to sleep. The Bible says the Lord gives sleep to whom he loves, but perhaps you're so grieving the Holy Spirit within you by listening to these things that once you re repent and renounce these things, you know, you'll find yourself sleeping peacefully, okay? I really encourage us to repent for these practices, for those giving these making these videos and for those listening to repent and to turn away from these unclean practices and just seek the Lord because the Bible, the bread of life doesn't need all of this intentional, whatever this is. Okay. If you wouldn't, can you imagine just sitting next to Jesus and watching this video and saying, yes, this is good. This No. Can you imagine those of you that make these videos sitting next to Jesus and sitting there and clicking your nails and scratching and talking soft to the people all seductively? Can you imagine how that would make him feel? Let's be real here. This is not the time.